this up, the old one, at the University of Vienna. And it's not a new monument per se, it's an older monument that has taken new form. A site of memory that's been reconfigured, maybe it's been rehabilitated. And this is where it was originally. It was, it was reimagined, recontextualized, and broken into its three component parts. And one of the perennial problems about that head was that it was a gathering place for both mainly the right, but also the left uh, fraternities, and it was, it was uh, very contentious. The emphasis in the new monument on text reminds us of the power of language as words and books are often the first victims of totalitarian regimes. And we're also reminded that words tell stories and record history. And therefore, they have the power not just to damage or to injure, but also to resist. <laughs>